Hello guys, Wilson Box here. Welcome to one more video. This time we are talking about the gear you should use for all the chief challenges. Don't forget to subscribe. So on season four, at the moment we have all of these gears. Okay, so these will be the mythic ones. Then we have some more mythics. This will be for DPS, tanks and debuffers and some more uh, gears. So there's a lot of them, but we don't need to use all of them. Okay, so for tanks, the most important one, of course, will be the Ancestral Protection, just because it gives you this 15% less damage uh, to your team and you gain 15% damage reduction. So for your tank, obviously, will be this one. If you have someone applying a debuff, this will be the one you want to use because every time you successfully inflict a debuff, all your allies will gain 15% attack. And then for DPS characters, this is the one that everyone wants to know. So of course, the one clean will be for the, the characters that apply uh, derivate damage. Okay, like Zorlock and a couple more like Charla, Sh Charla, Sh the, the lightning, the dauntless one uh, will be this one. But for all the other DPS characters, we really want to know which one is the strongest one. So I did a couple of tests, so I'll bring it to here. So I did... I did 10 runs with uh, the same team, so it was a corrosion team, I can show you guys. So let's just go here so you guys can see which team I used. Just for comparison, of course, if it's a different team like Dauntless, uh, of course, will be a, maybe a different gear. But the team I used was this one, okay, a corrosion team. And I just swapped the gear from the corrosion uh, characters, so from these three ones, uh, the other two, I kept the same gear and I did 10 runs uh, with each gear just to make sure the results are correct. So going back here, so I did 10 runs with Case Shadow, 10 runs with Emissary, 10 runs with Echo of War. Of course for Dauntless characters, F Echo of War will be the, the best one uh, just because of the um, 3 set stats uh, that it gives. So if you go here, the 3 set effect. So the Echo of War will give 15% more attack speed. Uh, so of course, this will benefit a lot all the Dauntless heroes. But the one, the strongest one was really the Echo of War. Okay, Chaos at Shadow and Echo of War. Uh, this one was close, 15, the average damage was 15.12. This one was 15.64 and of course, of course, Emissary was the lowest one. So the, the biggest damage I did was 15.2. On this one was 17.6, this one was 17.1. But the big difference here is that this was the biggest one and then uh, the ones close to this was 15.5. On other side, Echo 4, the biggest damage I did was 17.6, but then I had a lot of 16.8, 16.7, which was pretty close to 17. But these ones are not so close. The, it was two million, almost 2 million damage away from this damage, okay? So if you are looking for the best gear to equip your DPS characters for all of these challenge, Civ challenges, I really recommend you to use Echo of War. Of course, you'll really want to use uh, attack percentage on the chest. So imagine, if you don't have attack percentage uh, on the chest, with on the Echo of War chest, then you can use the Chaos Shadow chest if you have one with attack percentage. But always try to prioritize using this gear, the Echo of War. If not, then use the Chaos, uh, Chaos, uh, Chaos Shadow. And just try to use always the chest with attack percentage as well because it helps a lot with your damage. And then gloves, try to use Carnage. Of course, for DPS will be always Carnage. So for DPS, if you don't have any crit rates, try to get some crit rate. It depends which character you're using. Some of them uh, work be better with crit rate. Other other ones work better with attack percentage. But try to use with crit rate. If you don't have gloves with crit rate, try to use some with attack percentage. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm still working on my chief challenge teams. So I will release it later because I've not finished <laughs> to complete all my 15 teams. I think I have around 10 to 11 teams. So I'm still missing some of them. 
and I'm a bit delayed on the affinity tree, so I don't have my affinity tree completed, so that is affecting my teams because they can't survive that much. But eventually I'll get 15 teams done and then I'll release another video showing all my 15 teams. Okay guys, so this is all my recommendations regarding the gear. Remember, Equo 4 was the one performing better, then Chaos of, Sh of Shadow and finally Emissary. But I really recommend using between Echo 4 or Chaos of Shadow because this was the ones doing more damage on average. Alright guys, so I hope this is very helpful. I wish you good luck on all the chief challenges. Try to aim for 22 million damage. You don't need much more than that. 22 million damage will give you the biggest score as possible. So don't worry about that. As you, soon as you reach 22 million damage, be happy with that and go to the next one. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. See you next time.